Okay, so we're going to solve this problem where we've got 100 integers a1 up to a100, which are between 1 and 400. And if we consider the differences between consecutive numbers in this sequence, we've got a2 minus a1, a3 minus a2, and so on. We want to show that in this list of all of the differences, there must be a value which repeats more than 10 times. So here we've got a balance between we don't want to have differences which repeat too many times, but at the same time, we can't have the numbers too big. So our approach is that we're going to actually assume that in order to try and make the numbers as small as possible, we could start with a1 is equal to 1. Then we try and make all of the differences as small as possible to contain the size of our numbers. But we'll show that this still means that a100 has actually got to be bigger than 400, which would be a contradiction. So there's a nice way of capturing this constraint of being bigger than 400 and relating this to the set of all of the differences between consecutive numbers. So here, if we just consider the sum of all of the differences between consecutive numbers in our sequence, so the sum of differences is actually going to have lots of cancellation of terms here. You've got a2 minus a1 plus a3 minus a2. So you see your a2 terms cancel. Your a3 would cancel with the next one, which is a4 minus a3. And if we keep going like this all the way up to a100 minus a99, the a99 term cancels, and all we're left with is a100 minus a1. So we've got a100 minus a1 as our sum of differences. But we know that a100 has got to be less than or equal to 400, and a1 has got to be at least 1. So this means that actually the sum of differences has got to be at most 400 minus 1. So the biggest we could possibly make this is 399. So the next step is we're going to assume for a contradiction that we've only got at most 10 repeats of any difference. So we'll assume that there are less than or equal to 10 repeats of any value in this list of all of our differences between consecutive terms. So if we assume that there are at most 10 repeats, let's think about what the implications are on the sum of differences. We've already got an upper bound, so now we'll get a lower bound on the sum of differences just by assuming that we make this all as small as possible. So we're allowed to have zero as one of our differences. This would satisfy our inequality. So we could have 10 lots of zero just to make the sum of differences as small as possible. Then we could have 10 lots of one as our differences and so on, all the way up to 10 lots of 8. So now at this point we've covered 90 of our differences. And remember there are 100 numbers in total, which means we've only got 99 differences. So this means that while we've got 90 here, we only need 9 lots of 9 to make our sum of differences as small as possible for our lower bound. So it's going to be slightly more convenient to write this 9 times 9 as actually 10 times 9 minus 9, so that then we can take out this factor of 10. So you see we've got 10 into 0 plus 1 and so on. The sum of integers up to 9, then just minus this 9 term at the end. So then we've got 10 lots of the sum of integers up to 9 is 45. So we get 450 minus 9 gives us 441 as our lower bound on the sum of differences. But you can see now this is a problem because 441 is our lower bound on the sum of differences. But earlier we've shown that an upper bound on the sum of differences from the other constraint is 399. So in order to satisfy this between 1 and 400 constraint, the sum of differences has to be less than or equal to 399. But if we assume that there are at most 10 repeats, then the sum of differences has got to be at least 441. So you can see this is a contradiction then, and we can say that one of the differences has got to repeat more than 10 times. And now we'll just finish by seeing if we can improve on this bound. So we've shown that there have to be more than 10 repeats in a set of differences, but could we show, for example, that there have to be more than 11 repeats as well? Well, if we assume that, let's say that there are at most 11 repeats, then we could apply our previous argument to the sum of differences. So now making the sum of differences as small as possible, we're allowed to include 11 repeats of each one. So we get our lower bound is now going to be 11 repeats of zero, then we could have 11 repeats of a difference of one, 11 differences of two, and so on up to 11 differences of eight. And then this would cover all 99 of the differences there. 
So what do we get? The sum of integers from 1 to 8 is 36, and times 11 we get 396. So our sum of differences has got to be greater than or equal to 396, and our previous constraint was that it has to be less than or equal to 399. So there's no contradiction here. So we could see if we could actually construct a set of integers which satisfies this, where we have at most 11 repeats of each difference. So let's take this approach of trying to make all the numbers as small as possible. We'll start with 1, then let's say that the next 11 differences are all just 0, so the next 11 integers are also 1. So we've essentially just added 11 times 0, then our next one is also 1. Then the next number we'll get up to if we have 11 differences of 1 now, to plus 11 times 1, so that would get us now up to 12. Then going from there, we would add 11 differences of 2, so that's effectively adding 22 to our sum, so we're now up to 34, and so on. So we keep going down like this until we add 11 differences of 8. So we want to know what number do we get here. Well, all we've done is started with 1 and added 11 times 0, 11 times 1, and so on. So 1 plus 11 times 0 plus 1 up to plus 8. And we've already calculated this with 396. So plus 1, we get 397. So we'd start with our a1, our first integer would be 1, then we would have 11 repeats of 1, then we would go up by 1 each time, and so on. And if we did this all the way up to 11 differences of 8, we would only actually reach 397 as our a100, our biggest integer. So it is actually possible to satisfy this initial constraint with 11 repeats. So our lower bound there of there has to be greater than 10 repeats in this list is actually an optimal lower bound there.